we can close as we can see uh, back into familiar surroundings is it is it nice is it what, what, what is the overall emotion of being back around? I'm good it's, it's good mate I'm happy um, I feel comfortable back here uh, come back into a team which is uh, similar to when I left I mean we got, we got a couple of the, the new French lads which which uh, obviously bring an addition to the team and um, yeah, so, so obviously I know how the, the team plays. You kind of fit straight back into the structure. It's not like joining a new team. So, and um, it, it was a pretty easy decision for me uh, when when it came up. So, um, yeah, I'm enjoying myself. Did you turn into a fan last season? I did. Yeah, uh, one of the boys gave me their Wigan TV account and I was up at all hours of the morning watching. And um, yeah, I was, I was watching the, the Wembley game and real gutted. Like I, I still felt the pain for the boys. Um, well, when they lost that game, and um, yeah, they, they didn't have the best year, but uh, the boys are real determined to make up for that this year. As a as a spectator, what, what did you make of the season? If I was to ask you for a, a critical ana analysis of where they, why they fell short, mm. what would it be? Um, I don't think they. I don't know whether it was complacency from the year before winning the grand final, or uh, I, I couldn't really tell you, mate. But. Um, all I can tell you is the, the boys are the boys are gutted from last year. I know they've had some pretty tough meetings about um, the expectations of this year, and uh, I, you, you can sense there's just something different about this year. And I don't I don't I don't know statistics, but I don't think Wigan will have finished um, below the top four or top five for for a number of years. So um, the, the boy the boys have stood up and and, and they're going to be held accountable this year to to everything. We've set some real good trademarks and. Um, look, I, th I think we'll go well this year. I remember speaking to you a few years back and you said to me that you had it in your mind that you wouldn't mind trying the NRL out and then you wouldn't mind trying Rugby Union out. Yeah. Is that still the plan or has, this, mm. has the return to Wigan sort of changed that a little bit for you? Yeah, I don't, I don't really think uh, long term as much. But that, that, was, that was my general goal when I was, when I was a, a bit younger. Um, but now I just, I, I'll probably take every year as it comes and I'm happy here at the moment and I've got two years here and the more I watch Union the more I kind of think to myself I don't really want to be playing playing that, that they don't get their hands on the ball there much but obviously I've grown up playing the game I enjoy the game but um, yeah no I think that that ship's maybe sailed and uh, I'm, I'm happy and I think I'm pretty suited to rugby league. When you did leave did you think you'd come back or was, was that it was, was the NRL the, you know the rest of your career? Um, no I, I was I was kind of open-minded with it. I, I didn't really have a, like I said, I didn't really have a goal. I just wanted to get out there and prove myself. And, and if, if I could have in that first year, I've, other doors might have opened up. But um, I knew if I come back to Super League that uh, I'd want to come back to a team a team like Wigan. And I'd spoke to Wayne and expressed that if I ever did come back, um, I'd want to come back to, to Wigan. So um, when, I, when I couldn't really find much form out there with, with my injuries and had a pretty tough year with that and... Um, and Wigan obviously come in and express that they need a centre for this year. It, it just felt right for me to, to make that decision, really. There was talk that Hull KR were interested as well. Is, is that a fair <coughs> assessment? Uh, yeah, Hull were uh, pretty interested a bit before <coughs> a bit before Wigan, and, and I I'd spoke to t Toronto coming. I would briefly spoke to them, but um, that, it was just kind of just brief discussion, really. There, there wasn't too much in it. Um, and I obviously met with Lee, Ian Lanigan when uh, when. When we um, when he was over watching the World Cup final uh, in Brisbane, which was only, only probably an hour from me, so and um, yeah, that that was the first I'd heard from Wigan really, and, and a week later I, I landed up signing. So um, no, it felt right for me, mate, and I'm I'm happy here now. So you didn't you didn't get close to joining KR then? No, no, no. There was there was there was a few talks like I think they'd expressed an interest in my agent and stuff, but yeah, I don't, there was nothing more than that. And obviously, when when you got the call from Wigan. From what you said previously, there was there was almost a done deal before you'd even spoke about it too much. Once you knew they were interested, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was. It was just a bit. Weird. I needed to sort out in Australia. Obviously, I had a house and a car and stuff. I needed to sort out, and it all happened so quick. I was, and then from signing, I was back within a week. So I had to leave a lot of stuff uh, back there for people to sort out for me, which uh, which fair play to them, they did. And um, yeah, I got back in time just for the, just for the Wales camp, which was which was pretty tough.